It's time for another budget costume project, and I am deep in the throes of an 18th century obsession. So today we are going to be making a Bruchere hat out of this one dollar cheapo plasticky horrible Dollar Tree sun hat. Yeah, let's get started. The first thing I had to do was snip off this little bit of cording that had been glued down to the hat with hot glue as a bit of decoration. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the stitching and leave maybe two or three stacks of this braid remaining so that I have a shallow crown instead of this really deep one. And then I'm just going to cut off anything that I don't need. The hat was sewn together with just a bit of flimsy plastic thread and with just a few snips, the rest of it gave way pretty easily and I could just pull the hat apart. So I've left this pretty generous little tail here for where I cut off the top of the crown. And now I'm going to tuck this behind, even though it's sewn in front. I'm gonna try and make this look as not janky as possible. There we go, and now I can hand stitch that into place. My first attempt at making the top of the crown, I measured out the opening and then measured that onto the crown piece that I had and marked it, and then tore off the excess braid up to the mark that I had measured. And then, without even attempting to iron it flat, I decided that no, it is too curved to actually lay flat, and then tore the rest of the crown apart and attempted to sew it back together in a flatter shape, which absolutely did not work because the straw had already been steamed into shape, and of course, when I finished sewing it all together, it was in exactly the same shape it started as. Instead of tearing it all apart again, I decided to actually try ironing it and seeing if that worked, and guess what? It actually did! The crown flattened out rather nicely, and I think it would have done that even without having re-sewn it, so if you are going to attempt this, do not even bother to take your crown apart. Just just iron it flat. It'll, it'll work. Okie dokie, now that we've got this nice and flat, I'm gonna whip stitch it to the edge of the crown here so that we have a nice fully assembled hat. Okay, so before I start stitching, I'm going to match up this overlap here from when we tucked under the raw edge. And I'm gonna match that, the overlap on our top piece so that we have a definitive back to the hat. To sew the top of the crown to the rest of the hat, I used a simple whip stitch. Okay, so I've got the top of the hat all sewn on, but as you can see, it's kind of dipping in. And I think that's because my flat part at the top is a little too wide, so I'm gonna take out some of the stitching and just pinch these rows in a little bit to take in some of the some of the diameter and see if that works. I started to cut apart the stitching and to repin the hat into a new shape when it occurred to me that I should actually try this thing on. And it was too big. So I took the entire crown apart, which took a bit longer because my stitches were much sturdier than the originals, and then I steamed the braid into place and pinned it down hoping to make the diameter of the hat a bit smaller, down to about five and a half inches instead of the original seven or eight. Once I was satisfied, I stitched it all in place. Okie dokie. So this is version three of this hat. I've added additional braid here. Things got a little wonky in the back and I had to do a little bit of patchwork, but I think it'll probably be covered by trim, so I'm not super worried about it. The main thing I was trying to do was get this circumference smaller because when I tried the hat on it actually like fell down over my ears and I didn't realize that before I started hacking this thing apart so I needed to take out some of this. So the next thing is going to be to build up the crown a bit and then I can put the new top on it. We should be done but I've said that before so Ears open. Okay, 
All right, so now I've made this little crown and I'm going to sew it onto the brim and hopefully that will be the end of this hat saga. didn't work and I started sewing on the top there was all this gapage back here so I'm gonna have to try something else and I'm not quite sure what this hat I'm beginning to think this this might be a lost cause okay day two and I have pinned a new crown onto this hat. Hopefully this will be the last time I have to do this because this is I think the fourth time I'm trying to get this hat to work and if this doesn't work I'm gonna cover this thing in fabric to hide all of my floats. So let's try this one more time. a little bit of experimenting but I think I've got it figured out now so don't do what I did the first couple of times I think my mistake was cutting off the top and trying to shoehorn that into the new size of the crown I think if I just kept going in a continuous spiral and sewing it together as one piece then this would have gone a lot faster and been a lot easier so but otherwise yeah I'm I'm really happy with this little hat and I think it's going to be great for future 18th century stuff and for a dollar I'm super satisfied. Yay! Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did be sure to hit that like button below and if you want to see more sewing hacks, sewing adventures, costume events, and other historical costume goodness please be sure to hit that subscribe button too. I'll see you next time. Bye!